one of those days I have class tonight. Um, it was funny, I was looking at a video diary that is posted on my other channel and just looking back at, it was dated September 6th, 2010, and I look at the fact that it's been a year and a half, and it's crazy how much has changed in that time. So, it's absolutely insane. I remember being like really nervous to, you know, go to university and being scared and terrified, and, you know, it was. It was really difficult my first year, and but managed to get through it and now I'm more than halfway through my second year and I remember going into my second year and kind of starting my classes and I'm like why did the first year terrify me? I, it, was, it's, it, was very, it was a very intimidating time back then to go through university you know I didn't really feel like I was prepared at all from high school or anything so it's kind of nice to have made it to this point where I'm in a house with a few of my friends. You know, last year it really had its up moments. You know, I made some really great friends last year and managed to get through the academic stuff. You know, I wasn't really sure if I would be able to. I never really thought I would really finish my first year. So it's kind of great when you can get through that and just manage to make it through because I know a lot of kids struggle in their first year university first year out of high school in general you know it's a very difficult time and for some you know they're not able to get through it and it's really horrible because be not being able to get through that stuff i you know i never thought i would be able to do it myself because sometimes it's like it hits you that you're grown up and there you all these different responsibilities and new responsibilities and it's terrifying but you can get through it and I know this vlog originally started out with me you know making my favorite snack but I was looking at that video diary today and I was just remembered that time can help being around people who are there for you you know it helps being around people who love you and who can help you, you know, even if you feel like you're alone, you know, there's some, there's somebody that's willing to help you, and don't ever doubt that, and it's been great to have my friends, and people that I really consider to be my family, I'm lucky enough where, when I'm at school, if I'm ever having a bad day or something, I will go up to my school paper's office, the charlatan, and the people in there, the editors, and the people who just go in there, like me, I just, that's when I'm at school, you know, that's my family. They're the ones who, if somebody's having a bad day or is just like freaking out about something, then we're all there for each other and it's really great. And then I have my roommates here who you've met and they're amazing. You know, I didn't really know any of them before the start of the school year. So I was really happy to be able to come here and just get along so great with my roommates. You know, time, time changes a lot and it's crazy how fast it goes by. I cannot believe I'm already halfway through my second year of university. And I see all my friends who are, who started school this year and the ones who are going to be starting schools next year and it's insane. But I would just like to say, you know, no matter how bad things get, you can find someone out there who's willing to help. And things aren't as bad as they seem. I think that's the big thing I want to tell people is things are not as bad as they seem. That was my big issue last year is that I'm like, I can't do this. What am I going to do? Mom, mom, I need your help. And that I did that so many times last year, but things got better. And I, I don't know what it was. I think it was being around a lot of people over the summer. I were, had a job where I saw people as they walked into the restaurant. I saw people as they walked out. So it was wanting to make those people feel comfortable and in a way kind of made me comfortable. I don't really know but you know things aren't as bad as they seem and no matter what happens you can get through it. So and if you ever if you are watching this and you are feeling down and out you know feel free to say hi. I, I'll talk to you you know it's not I think doing this vlog, I kind of, you know, I hope to reach out to people. I hope to be able to, you know, help people 
you know, this thing, doing this every day, it is for myself, but I also want to be able to help others because that's one of the major things I want out of life, just to bring a smile to people's faces. So, officially, I'm saying.